Oh, yeah, we did. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Bilsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Don't buy them panels, people. Look at that. What is going on? No good. Junk. Falling apart. More like melting apart. So if you're watching videos beyond there, yeah, make sure you don't buy that kind. Spend the extra money and buy better ones. Like I did here. Bought some decent panels for the golf cart. Look at them. Got some solid panels here. They're pretty nice. 30 watt, we got three of them. Look at that, there's another one. And here's another one. Gonna basically put 90 watts onto the roof of the cart. Now these panels are all what they call 12 volt, but we're gonna turn them into 36 volts. And the way we do that is the same way you do it if you're adding multiple batteries together. So you wanna go positive to negative. You wanna go positive to negative and then ground it hot, just like the golf cart. And that will give you 36 volts, 12, 12, and 12 is 36, Captain. We're gonna make up the bracket to hold these on the roof of the golf cart out of a piece of aluminum that I picked up from Princess Auto. And I bought two and I only need one. I kind of diggered that over, but hey, two is better than one. So let's get a marker and we'll cut that. We'll just get right into it. I'm not really one for messing around and just get right into her, Captain. So we want just enough over the edges to be able to put a bolt through it. So we're gonna go about that far. So now we'll slide it just slightly this way and we'll mark where the holes are. So we got a hole here. Here, 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 and here. So there's one piece. So we can cut that piece. Okay, so there's one made. Drill all the holes in, round it off the ends a little bit. We'll be able to bolt all the panels right to this piece right here. Hopefully these bolts will go down through. I bought two packs of these, because I'm gonna need them. Pretty sure I have enough. I do, just. Glad I bought two packs. Yeah. And of course they're all stainless, which is a good thing. So of course we're running a 10 millimeter. So we'll try to get this into here. Started like that. Now when you're doing this, I suggest you use stainless steel, of course. That way you don't rust all down your golf cart. That's why I'm using aluminum and stainless steel. You know what I'm saying? Probably should be putting a washer on that too. Man, oh man, am I ever irritated about that friggin' those panels on a trailer. I did a return up for them, so go on the computer and order two replacements because I'm not taking them off until I have two replacements. You better have patience to wait for my replacements because I'm not removing them until my replacements come in. Leave your comments down below if you do the same. All right, so now that that's on, we put this in here and we can tighten her up. There we go. So there's one bar done. It makes it pretty friggin' solid, it does. So we'll spin that around and we'll get the other bar. So I've already cut it, so all I need to do is just mark where the holes go, which is easy peasy. Perfect, so here, 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 and here. That didn't take long, did it? Frig no, why would you? So now we're gonna need this other kit, if I can get into it. Power fist, hey? Nothing like a good power fist. So I'll start by, I'm gonna put a lock washer on this time. No, I'm not. Okay, come on. It's not as hot out today, so that's kinda nice. Hey, we're not sweating a ball sack off today. Thank God I have insurance on that trailer. Who knows, those panels might burn down my trailer. You never friggin' know. Not looking too promising up there. It really isn't. So there we go, those are in. So now all we can do is tighten them up. One, two, three, four. You know what? There we go, perfect. So now they're all hooked together. You can feel how they feel, and they feel awesome. Just unbelievably amazing. Friggin' right to do. So now that we're done that, we're going to wire them together. And who's ready for that? Raise your hand. Ah. Oh. So I'm gonna get some zip ties now and we'll start to... So basically what's gonna happen is this positive is gonna come all the way to this end. So we gotta cut one at this end, right there, and we can start to feed it right here, we can undo it. So I don't know if we'll be able to slide that out or not, we're gonna find out. We might have to slice down her. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll slice down it. Just be gentle when you're doing this. Don't cut your finger off because that would hurt, if you know what I'm saying. There we go. So now we'll take the end off, see if we can't tear it apart. There we go. So as long as you start an end, you should be good. Wire's actually not too freaking bad. There we go. Okay, so positive we need to come all the way down to here where the main hookup's gonna be. So we need to go, we'll slice this, we'll slice this, we'll cut this here, we'll slice this. So negative to positive. Get a little shrink and dink on here. I'm not gonna solder these. By the time I do this and heat shrink them, they're gonna be fine. I might need bigger shrink wrap. Yes, I do. That case don't have it. Remember, like I said, if you have any questions for me, always leave a comment down below. Because if I can answer it, I will. Captain, do that. Find the heat dink over it. Come on, baby. You can do it. There we go. So now this negatives got to go to this positive. So we need to cut this the same length as this one, which is right about there anywhere. Well, we got to cut it actually to come back to here. So let's cut it right here, like so. And then we need to go from here out, like so. We'll slice her down, maybe. 
There it goes. Negative to positive, negative to positive, and then negative and positive. There you go, Captain. That's how it works. Slicers and dicers. Shrink dink. Perfect. Twisty, slidey, heaty. There we go. So now that that's done, this will be our positive and this will be our negative. So now what we need to do is zip tie all this in so it's nice and neat and tidy. One, two. So that, believe it or not, is all there is to making a 36 volt picture panel. And I'll show you right now. So we'll flip this up. What do we have? Minus one. Perfect. It's working. Sorry about that. 56 volts. Open current's 22.9 volts. So that's open. Operational voltage 19. So by the time we downsize it to the old doodad, she'll be back down. That's what the ch charge controller is for. But look at that. Right there, it's making rig a lot of power. 57 volts. That's pretty decent right there. That's it. We got her. You wouldn't want to hook that up directly to the batteries. You'd definitely overcharge them. That's pretty freaking decent right there. So you'll see what I mean. Once I get the charge controller in, it might be a few days before you see that thing. But once it's in, I'll show you how the controller will turn it to 36 volts. It'll be exactly where we need it. Right now it's open circuit. So she's gonna make all sorts of power right now. Friggin' right. So now all I gotta do is just run the wire to where I need it. Let's see how it looks up there. Hold on, I'll be right back for you. There you go, check it out. That's awesome. That's 90 watts. 36 volt, well, more than 36 volt, but she'll be 36 volt once I put her in the charge controller. So there you go. That will help charge the old batarooskies. But I'm gonna drill a hole in the roof and I'm gonna kinda get it mounted somewhere where it needs to be. And that way when we're ready to go, we're ready to go. All right, so there we go. We got the panels mounted on the roof. Now the only thing we gotta do is we're gonna have to run some self tapners through here and here to stop this because that will drive you crazy when you're driving and it will help stiffen it up and pull it down. But we're not gonna do anything like that. We still gotta seal the holes and this and that and the other thing because we gotta take it back off the wire. But that's all I'll do. This war this roof's pretty warped to begin with. But once I put the self tapners in there, I'll pull it down nice and tight and it'll actually help to straighten out the roof. And then of course we'll caulk the holes and stuff so it doesn't leak. But here's part one of turning the golf into its own little solar charger too. So this is gonna be pretty good, eh? We're getting there. El Solo. L. Bilsev. I bought one too many of them. I only need one, but hey, you never know when you might need a little bit of aluminum. They're on sale for $7.99 for length. So that's a pretty good deal, I thought. So I'm gonna freaking get her. There we go. Hopefully you enjoy this video. I gotta pick up some self tapners Run the wires. I'm gonna run the wires out. Well, I'll show you when I do it, hey? Can't wreck a good thing. That'll make you stay tuned to see where I run the wires. But we have a little extra wire here. Never know when you might need that. So we'll hang on to that. And like I said, I gotta order two more 100 watt flex panels, better quality to replace the ones on the trailer. So like I said, before you order yourself some panels, go back to my other video, make sure you don't buy that brand. I can't even pronounce them, but I just don't want you to have the same problem I'm having. It's not a big deal, they're still working. It's just, I don't like how they're all twisted up like that. It doesn't look right on the trail. That means they're overheating is what that means. They're getting too hot. Hey, it is what it is. We'll figure it out together. Or I might just leave them up there and run them until they burn the trailer down. What do you think? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think I should do. Remove them, replace them, or just let them go and see what happens. And let me know what you think of the golf cart solar idea. We're gonna have to see, this is a project. This is kind of just a guess in the dark. Really it is. I think we're gonna work out just fine. If that's not enough power, we'll add frig three more because they're nice panels. We'll just move them over and add three more and then I'll have almost 200 watts on top of the cart. And they'll actually probably fit almost straight on top of the friggin' cart. Not like these people that have them way up here. I don't like that. Unless you have them out the back and then it kind of makes a sh kind of a roof for that. Hey, whatever. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, let me know what you think. This is gonna end this video. Kinda got it started and that's all that really matters. But hopefully everyone's having a good day like I am. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification. I like that kind of stuff. You like that kind of stuff. We all like that kind of thing. Have a good night. Love y'all. And you know what to do for now.